Walmart Sales Forecasting Introduction Walmart holidays include holiday discounts and markdowns that affect the company's revenue. With predictive analytics, our team will conduct price optimization, supply chain optimization, and inventory management. The business objective for Walmart will be to analyze which holiday discounts result in the most sales. Background. Retail companies use historical data to create models about expected sales during different times of the year. Walmart faces the challenge of making marketing decisions on limited historical data. Holidays such as Black Friday occur once a year. Therefore, the effectiveness of strategic policies can only be tested during that window. The goal is to help Walmart stakeholders maximize their revenue by optimizing customer behavior. Data scientists will be able to explore the features and content of the data, create plots showing the centrality of the data, and combine the data sets in a way that predicts future sales. Data mining goals and success criteria. Walmart's business goal is to predict sales, sell more products, and prepare inventory during busy holiday seasons. The data scientists will then prepare the historical data about sales during holidays and during regular seasons. Consulting team. Nabila Atawahid is a senior consultant at McKinsey. Nabila has three years of experience with machine learning programs. Inventory of resources. Resources that can be used for this data set include Walmart managers for each of the 45 stores being studied. The data mining resources used will be Python libraries to create regressions. These libraries include Pandas for parsing the data, Matplotlib for the visualizations, and Scikit-learn for regressions. Terminology. Holiday markdowns are discounts in sales. The markdowns can affect sales and the model created must predict which departments are affected and the extent of the impact. These markdowns precede prominent holidays, the four largest of which are the Super Bowl, Labor Day, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Terminology continued. CPI, or the Consumer Price Index, is a measure that examines the weighted average of prices of a basket of consumer goods and services, such as transportation, food, and medical care. It is calculated by taking price changes for each item in the predetermined basket of goods and averaging them. Deployment is a data science term that occurs when the machine learning model is integrated into the business plan. Deployment is the last stage of the CRISPDM process and occurs when all other steps, such as data preparation, data exploration, and modeling have occurred. Assumptions. The model will assume that the markdowns have the same effect in every store. However, the store is affected by factors such as location, temperature, fuel price, and consumer price index. Assumptions continued. Another assumption is that markdowns will, resu will result in more revenue. However, the graphs and data show shown in the future slides show that markdowns sometimes result in less revenue for Walmart. The goal of our machine learning model is to create markdowns that correlate with higher weekly sales so that stakeholders and consumers can get the best benefit from the markdowns. Constraints. The null values in the markdowns may make the model less accurate. To resolve this constraint, we can create a new data frame which deletes the null values and run the model on both data frames to compare the results. Risks and contingencies. The risk of dimensionality or lack of statistical significance in data analysis when the data set is too large is a current risk associated with this project. Our team plans on combining the data sets and taking a sample of the data so that the sample that we have can serve as um, a sample for all Walmart stores in the nation, which we can then feed into our model. Key performance indicators. The key performance indicators will be net sales and the percentage growth in revenue. Walmart can compare average weekly sales per store during holidays and during non-holiday seasons. 
to determine the inventory necessary for different times of the year. Data visualizations. The following graph shows weekly sales and places a red dot for each holiday. With our machine learning model, we will predict how to maximize sales during holidays. As shown here, we see some drops in revenue and weekly sales wherever there is a markdown. So the goal of our current model is to make sure that these markdowns are associated with peaks in sales and not in, um, in dips in sales. Histogram of weekly sales. Again, uh, the weekly sales are very uh, right skewed and ideally we would like the data to be more normally distributed or left skewed so that it correlates with higher weekly sales. With our machine learning model, we can increase weekly sales by predicting customer behavior during holidays. The box plot of weekly sales is shown below. The box plot shows that there are outliers ranging from $100,000 to $700,000, and a majority of the, of the data is near zero. Again, we would like to see weekly sales spread out toward the higher the higher values. And our machine learning model will help accomplish that goal. There are several outliers in the markdowns box plot because they represent products with huge variability in price. So we see, especially for markdown five, there's an outlier for $800,000. So there definitely needs to be more research done on the values of these markdowns and what factors are affecting the markdowns in weekly sales. The heat map shows the correlation between each variable. So there is a correlation between um, markdown four and markdown one, as well as markdown three and whether it's a holiday, there needs to be more research done to see what is causing these correlations. The next slide will show a data quality report, which describes the centrality and variation in our data set. So we see that some factors affecting weekly sales can be temperature, fuel price, consumer price index, and unemployment. And this chart just shows the measures of centrality for all these variables. Budget and financing. To complete this model, we have an estimated budget of $60,000. This will allow our team to conduct research at the 45 Walmart stores in the data set. Our team will be able to fill in missing values in the holiday markdowns, which will make the final model more accurate. Conclusion. Walmart stakeholders can maximize their revenue when the model predicts consumer behavior during holidays. By predicting customer behavior, Walmart can increase sales by using targeted marketing in their holiday discounts.